Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm doing the June monthly oracle card guidance and I'm using the Mystical Shaman Pocket Oracle cards, which is just a smaller version of the actual oracle cards. I've been wanting to use these cards for a very long time now. And uh, yes, and so I've decided to use them only today and not use any other cards for the Oracle card guidance. So go ahead and pick your number one, two or three. And I'm going to be using the same deck of cards for all three options. OK, this is just the packaging that it comes in. And these are the cards. For those of you who have chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is your monthly Oracle card guidance for the month of June? What do we need to know for the month of June? We have the lower world. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the first option for the month of June uh, 2024, the cards that we have for June are the lower world, wild woman and arrow. And I feel that uh, June is going to be a month where you actually are able to access other aspects of your consciousness. You might have already started doing this through the month from March till May. And in fact, it might have already be underway in May. But once you come into June, you're definitely working from within a different level of consciousness. Uh, and I apologize because my neighbors decided to draw at the same time that I've decided to record this reading. Um, so, uh, yeah. So basically, it's like you're going into the depths of yourself to be able to understand who you truly are, what you, what's truly important to you, who you truly are. And this is... It feels like this is at the end of some deep healing that might have taken place already, which has allowed you to be able to access aspects of your consciousness that you may have not been allowed to access before this because you've been afraid or it's been too painful to do so. And so this is about being able to just go in deeper in yourself and be able to uh, to know what it is that is truly important to you, what it is that you you truly are here for. And it may also, for some of you, represent aspects of yourself that you may have lost along the way. It might be like soul retrieval for you to be able to understand certain aspects of yourself. You might have felt that you've lost the magic in you uh, some time ago. And this time is about being able to uh, access that I feel also as we move into the middle of June, you're going to find that you have reminders of what might have been limiting you in the past or might, what might have led you to having uh, closed off the certain aspects of yourself or, or walked away from some aspects of yourself. So if you were somebody who were, was more more bold in your life previously, you may have become less bold. If you were somebody who was more extroverted, you may have become more introverted or or just, you know, withdrawn somehow in some aspects of life. And as you enter the month of June, it's almost as if you're going to be, well, not as you enter, but as you come into the middle of June, it's almost as if you're going to be rebelling a little bit. You, It's more like you are getting back in touch with who you really are. And you're going to be pushing away influences or people around you or, or circumstances that are actually... Um, making you withdraw within yourself or retract from who you truly are. And so it's almost like you access that aspect of yourself. And I think like up to the solstice, you're going to be quite uh, engaged in who you are and, you know, almost like your feral aspect of who you are and allowing that to unleash itself. And I feel like you've had to, to be able to do that. You've had to go deep within to find that aspect of yourself that might have been lost or may have been shelves away for a different time in your life and as you come to the end of June I think it's very clear for you what you actually need to be doing and what it is that you will be doing I feel that you know exactly what it is that you need to do things come into clarity for you if you have been feeling over the last few years or a few months maybe for some of you a few years 
that you haven't been clear, that you haven't been hearing the, the guidance that has been sent to you, or you, you just don't know what you should be focusing on. Maybe there's just many things that you should be focusing, that you want to focus on. You have many interests, varied interests, and you just don't know where you need to be focused. By the end of June, you will know exactly what you need to be doing and it'll become very clear for you. And the steps that you'd need to be taking will also become quite clear to you. So what you need to do first and second, and third and fourth will also become very clear to you. I feel like in general for the month of June, you've decided who you are and and who you're going to be. And it's as if you, you're you not taking anybody's anybody else's opinion in, in mind. You know who you are and you're going to be that person regardless of what others expect of you and what others uh, think of you. And, and you know, you, you're not going to be uh, subtracting any aspect of yourself just to be able to fit in in a particular group or the particular friend circle or with a particular friend or lover or partner or family. You, you're just going to be who you are. And that is the most vital that you actually can be. So I think that as you go ahead in the month of June, you're going to be almost unraveling yourself, but like peeling off, you know, layers of an onion to be able to find your true core. And it's in the same vein as you do that, it's almost like you're remembering an aspect of yourself or you, you may be completely different. You may be looking at life completely differently. You may have a lot of wisdom that you've accumulated over the years. But when you go back and you look, when you aspect, sorry, let me just rephrase that. When you access that aspect of yourself, you're going to find that it is reminiscent of a certain um, part of your life that you may have left behind because you were afraid that you would maybe be rejected if you showed that aspect of yourself or maybe you wouldn't be accepted in a particular friend circle or group or by your partner and you've had to shelve uh, all those aspects of yourself away and perhaps you felt that in order to be accepted you've needed to to be a particular type of person and June is a month oops, sorry June is a month where you you find that you really don't need to do that. You really absolutely don't need to do that. It's all going to come together for you. And you're going to have a laser-like focus as you head into July. And so I wish you all a brilliant June. It sounds very empowering. It sounds very beautiful. And I, I wish you a time where you are able to access who you are through this energy and through this space. And I wish you a blessed time uh, ahead. And for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we are asking, what is the monthly oracle card guidance for the month of June? We're using the mystical shaman oracle. And we are asking, what do we need to be aware of? What do we need to be warned of? And what is our guidance? So for those of you who've chosen the second option, we have the staff, the sun and the tree of life. So the staff here is showing you that you have what, it need, what you need to have to be able to guide yourself forward. And regardless of what is behind you and regardless of what is around you and regardless of what the other influences are in your life, you actually have to decide for yourself what it is that's right for you, what resonates for you, what feels right to you and how it is that you will be moving forward. It's almost like a gauge, you know, the staff is there as a gauge to determine, is it, is it strong? Is it weak? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it, uh, is it, is the, you know, are, are you going in the right direction? Or are you not? It's like, um, you know, like a thermometer or a blind man's uh, stick. It's helping you find your way in this in this world and i feel like when you enter june you're going to have this idea that you have a will and you have the means to be able to work out what is right for you at this time so you have the means to be able to work out whether you are going in the, in the right direction whether something is right for you 
or not right for you, um, whether you ought to to accept that invitation or or not, whether you ought to be doing something else with yourself or not. And I think that um, that this staff is there to say, well, OK, you know, we you have the knowledge and you just need to figure out what else the world around you is trying to tell you so that you can allow yourself to be guided through this world in a way that is going to be safe for you and is going to be resonant with you. Okay, so as you enter June, I mean, as you come to the middle of June here, you have the Sun card. And I feel this is very much in alignment for those of you uh, both in the Northern and Southern Hemispheres because we come to the solstice uh, in around the 21st or 22nd of June. And to have the sun at this time is quite uh, fortuitous. Um, And I think here it's really about where do you need to shine the light? I know that sounds a bit, um, yeah, cliched in a way, but it's actually, it's really where you putting your focus, right? Where, Where you shining the light, where you were drawing light from, where is it that you've been concentrating on something or putting a lot of attention behind something that is not really serving you? And where is it that you can actually be putting that attention on something else that's going to be uh, adding to the value of your life and actually be investing in you? So where is it that you need to be investing in you uh, ultimately? And what is it that you need to put your energy behind so that it is an investment in yourself? And what have you been doing until now that has not been an investment in yourself that's perhaps working uh, uh, against you or working uh, away from you. Sometimes, you know, one can get obsessed with certain things or be allow oneself to um, engage in imagination that draws you away from your real existence. And the staff here, the sun together, is talking about being able to guide yourself through what is light and where, what, where you need to focus yourself. So actually these two cards together show me that you are actually going to be moving through that to be able to, to find what is right for you. And, and as you come to the solstice, you are going to be shedding quite a lot of light upon what needs to be lit in your life. And then we have the tree of life. And I feel that this guidance that you're receiving here with the staff and the sun of bringing the light to areas of your life, which need to be uh, need to be brought attention to is actually going to form the basis for the tree of life, for your longevity here, for what it is that you are planting quite deep. And it's going to for some of you, what you're doing in these few weeks, in the first three weeks of June is actually going to be the basis uh, of something that you will do for the rest of your life. So it might be that you embark upon a certain course of study or you decide that you're going to embark upon a particular course of study or you have um, decided to move away from a particular place or a particular space or from a particular person. And uh, that all is, it's almost like it's given you a chance to be able to lay down a new foundation and as you lay down this new foundation it's going to be the um it's going to bear its fruit for a very very long time and it's that card of longevity for you it's actually going to be what you will do for a lifetime in a way it won't that won't apply to every one of you for some of you it'll just be that you've been guided to bring light to a situation where you'll need to put down some roots okay and it may not be, maybe it's roots for two or three months. Maybe it's for till the end of this year. Maybe it's for the next 12 months or the next 18 months. And then it's it's cleared. But for others, it will be for a much longer time as well. So I think that, you know, as you enter June now and as you go through it, ask yourself along the way, what is it that I can do for myself right now that's going to be helping me and allowing me to live longer to be there for myself when I'm much older and I'm more frail Uh, what is it that I can do for myself now that's going to be an investment for me when I'm 70 or 80 or 90 years old 100 years old and how it is that I can support myself now 
you know, um, what scaffolding do I need now to be able to bridge myself so that I can actually build what is necessary for me to be able to live that long, long life? And or maybe just to build uh, a scaffold so you can see, uh, to, so you can have a bird's eye view into your life and and look at where it is that you need to uh, place some focus or priority or um, yeah, some significance in some aspect of your life. Um, so yes, I think that June, for those of you who've chosen option two, June is going to be quite a, an interesting month for you in terms of being able to put down certain roots and to be able to come to certain decisions that you may have been lingering, may have been decided a long time ago, but it comes into action in the month of June. Okay, I'm leaving it there. I hope that this has been resonant with you. And um, yes, I don't go into many, many different versions of what these cards could mean anymore because I have a very small following and I feel that the people who come to these readings, uh, I feel like I'm tapping directly into your energy as opposed to a lot of people. Uh, so yeah, I'm just giving you what I feel will be resonant with you. If you feel that that has not resonated with you, I would say that um, the focus for the month of June is to be able to see where it is that you can shine the light in your life and and how is it that you're going to guide yourself to that place. And I think that's where it's basically, um, that's the basics of this reading for you. All right. I wish you very, very well and uh, a blessed month of and for those of you who've chosen the third option, we're asking, what is the monthly Oracle card guidance for the month of June 2024? What is it that we need to know? What is it that we need to be warned of? What is it that we need to hear? And where is it that we need to be guided to? For those of you who've chosen the third option, we have the middle world, we have the corn, and we have the wind. And as I said that, there was a gust of wind that came by my window. Uh, so I feel that here, the month of June for you is quite different for those of you who've chosen the option number one and two. Uh, the middle world is basically how you're managing your life at this moment in this world. How are you managing what is there um in, the, in this world with not too much of thought about what is underneath all of it. Um, how, you, how are you actually delving into the basic day-to-day -day, um, troubleshooting and management and organization of your life? And I feel that uh, while it has definitely aspects of it which are intuitive and where you are, there is guidance, the 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 message to you is to say, well, in the first 10 days of June, focus on what it is that you need to do for yourself for today. What it, Do you need to clean something? Do you need to pack something? Do you need to uh, fix something? Do you need to cook something? Focus on what needs to be done. Do you need to do some emails? Do you need to phone, make a phone call? Take care of everything that needs to be done for you. I feel that the first 10 days or so for, of June, even for some of you, it might also be the first 14 days of June. It's very much about you actually focusing on what needs to be done. For some of you, it may be that you're writing exams or you're doing some some tests or you're doing something like that's going to be actually bringing you to, to focus inward so that you could finish something. For some of you, it may be that you've begun a project that needs to be finished and you're actually going to be putting your head down and working on that until the, 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 the yeah, until the, the second 10 days of June. And as we move into the, the, from the area, the time between the 10th and the 20th, uh, onto the solstice, 
here it feels like a time where you can benefit, where you can actually reap the rewards of what you have been doing. Uh, and maybe it's the time that you can actually start relaxing and enjoying what you have done until now. So maybe it's that you've just been working really hard and now you have the space and the time to be able to just enjoy what it is that you've been doing. It also feels to me that there'll, it'll be a moment where you can actually take time off and perhaps uh, spend some time with people, laugh, enjoy and be content. It feels to me like uh, there's definitely that aspect to it. Um, as you come into uh, the last week of June, we have wind. And this is a card of uncertainty. This is a card of changing, of change and transformation. It's It somehow signals that things won't be staying the same. It won't be that calm, joyous time that you have with the corn. It won't be that security that comes with the mundanity of the middle world. But what you have here is... Uh, the wind, something's being washed by you. So I would say that perhaps uh, you get some news, perhaps somebody comes into your life, perhaps something happens which is changing for you what's, the, what's actually going on. So it might be that you've received some guests during that time which upset your, your, your um, uh, routine. It could be that you have uh, some news, as I mentioned, uh, it could be that you have some some kind of push to change things. So it might be that you've decided, OK, I'm going to go full on uh, as it, as I come to the end of spring or the end of uh, autumn to be able to push through and maybe just cleanse my home and and wash away energies that might have been a bit stale. And so you you sweeping out what is no longer necessary for you. Um, it could also be, it, it just means very, very different things for different people. But I think the main thing to take away is that it won't be so calm as it's been in in the in the middle of June. It will be, there will be some news, there will be some change, there will be something that will be coming and wishing away what has been. And I think that there's nothing to be afraid about that. This It can be, it usually it brings in something positive and even if it looks negative at the beginning it it can actually be something that's quite positive i would not say that this is a negative um a negative card i would not say that there's something to be worried about i don't feel that that's the case i feel that just things will come and change things it'll change something something will change in your life i'm going to go into the book briefly and look at what it says for um for wind and um yes so um it says the the symbol of the wind represents the element of air it rules communication thoughts song and inspired ideas it also signifies change with qualities both positive and negative the wind blows from each of the four directions and here are the different qualities bestowed by each south is carrying a new sense of trust helping you gently begin to discard habits and parts that you no longer need west calling you to more introspection to willingness to make final decisions to let go of attachment and ego desires north moving to bring you wisdom and strength east carrying clarity of vision and purpose whichever way the wind is blowing for you the message which the wind whispers or shouts is a challenge it may take courage at first to turn and face the wind but you will find exaltation in moving forward in moving sorry in moving toward it and receiving its lessons the invitation um the invitation is is just a a, a chapter here in the in the book part of, as part of the wind and it says the spirit of the wind comes calling. It's a sign of change. Perhaps you need to change your mind about something. Perhaps the old way of doing things has become automatic and now you've gained greater clarity. You make a new choice. Regardless of what the change is, you can expect to be understood and to have clear communication with others at this time. Ideas are solid and the shift that has been called for is in the highest good of all. And yes, that's basically what I've been trying to say. This wind is going to be good. It's going to be come come in and you're going to wash away something that doesn't need to be there. But as you the mech, the most amount 
it feels to me that it's going to be hard work, lots of fun, enjoyment, and um, and then cleansing or washing away something. So I feel like, um, or just moving. Maybe you traveling. Maybe you will. It's like a whirlwind travel. Maybe you're going to be doing something at the end of June that's going to be taking you completely out of your routine and throwing you in a different direction. And uh, regardless, it's going to be a wonderful month for you. I think that there's nothing here that's dangerous, or harmful or scary. I think it's going to be a month for you where you can really put the focus on you and what needs to be done and get it out there. And then you can reap those benefits. And when and then, and at that point, you're going to be ready for some change and it's all good. All right. I wish you all a blessed June. May you have an abundant time and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.